So we downloaded the action script and we're going to use that in Photoshop CS3, putting it under this location, restarting Photoshop and bring in a texture. And but you can see it's not here, so we'll have to go here and click it. There we go. It's five scripts or subscripts here. Um, we'll use this one and we're simply going to run it actually. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. it. Takes like 10 seconds, but you know, creates a very nice texture. Uh, I'm just going to flatten this. Um, and I can now show you that this actually has a very good seamless pattern. Um, if I make this like, I don't know, 1024, 1024, what I can do is I can use paint bucket and I already created a pattern. Actually I didn't show you how to do that did I? Um, so um, what you do if you want to create a pattern is um, I'll just let's just run it first. What you do is that you flatten it mark an area hit this one, click play, and it will define that pattern. And it will be located under the paint bucket and under patterns. Again, 1024, 1024. And we created this one and just hit paint, and there it is. So this is what it's going to look like uh, in your game or in a life of 3D for example. Um, so this is very good uh, I, but still I mean we got these uh, we got these uh, very recognizable areas um, and do you want to get rid of those later on if you're if you want to uprest this or if you want this to be used in a, on a huge rock or whatever then you might want to tweak this pattern but uh, we're gonna look at that later on right now we're just going to look at how to create these seamless patterns and Let's try this one and hit play. And it's creating something that looks quite good. And you might just want to use it like that. Let's just flatten this now. And but you can see that there's like a shadow area, smudged area right here. Kind of like this ghost effect. You see that? It's kind of like ghosting, smudging, shadowing. So Let's have a look at how we can tweak that in order to make it look nicer. Uh, in this case, it's quite simple. I'm just going to use a black color and simply paint uh, cracks. So we'll do something like this. Um, And, and that's going to take that smudgy effect away. It's going to remove it. A bit too much maybe. What you can do is you can use the stamp tool or something like that. Uh, actually the spot healing brush. And let's see. I didn't quite do what I wanted to right now. Uh, let's try that over again. Um, use spot healing, spot healing, and let's go like that maybe. Well, 
not that bad. Be careful though not to tweak this seam area. That's going to make your texture seamless. You don't want that. I mean, not seamless. It's going to make a seam. Um, but all right, let's have a look at how this behaves. And you can see that by doing this, we remove that smudge effect that we used to have here or gold sting. Um, again, here we got some gold sting or some shadow. Uh, so you can go like this and it pretty much removes it. Once again, it really depends on how much detail you need. I mean, if, if this is going to be a texture for a background tree, way in the background, then of course this is unnecessary and it's just going to, well, kind of like waste time really. But if this is for a close-up, then definitely consider this. Okay, so there we go. So that's fixed. And then I would continue doing that all the way around this area here. Okay. And this one, uh, just hit play on that one. And it's pretty much like the first examples that I showed you. Uh, let's flatten this and define a pattern. Hit play, close it, create a new one, and paint that pattern. And it looks like that. Once again, you can see that it's too much of a pattern. It's seamless, but it's still a pattern. So um, you might want to clean this up later on using, for example, this spot healing tool, spot healing brush, uh, or other, other or other techniques. I'm going to show you that in another video, though. Um, let's see. This one, this one is kind of like tricky uh, because it creates quite a lot of ghosting, this kind of pattern. Uh, so you can see here that in this area we got quite a lot of ghosting. We don't want that. So um, So we need to retouch this quite a lot. I'm going to use this uh, spot healing brush though to fix that or try to fix that. And I found it it's better to instead of using a large brush to use a very small brush and go something like this. Seems to be doing a better job. So, um, also that same technique when using uh, spot, then we could use that same technique for kind of like blurring out hard shadows. Um, doing this but um, it's really up to you if you want to do that or not okay uh, another technique here is to well another technique I guess is to use create a shadow here
something like that. And I can go like this, maybe. Yeah. Depends on how hard you want that edge to be. So yeah. Um, again, be careful with um, the seam. Don't do anything near the seam. It's going to screw things up. Uh, but yeah, we got quite a lot of ghosting here. Uh, so. And I, I don't really feel that it's going to help me to take this area here and clone it over here because that's going to I'm going to have to fix stuff later on anyway. So I think in this case I'm just going to use the spot healing and kind of like go like this to smudge that out. And yeah, looks to do an okay job. Uh, it does seem though that I, I really have to create or use a very small uh, brush when, when using this technique. And just use uh, zigzag mov movements. So that's how you do that. Um, you know, I could continue showing you how to go about it, but you know, you get the idea. So yeah, you do want to get rid of some of this ghosting. Again, go like this, erase that area. Maybe smudge it out. So that's how you do it. But yeah, this is one of the, the most tricky examples, really. And this is where uh, Pixplant actually might do a good job, uh, maybe. But I bet it's gonna be challenging as well. Besides, how often are you gonna do this? Well. Maybe not all that often. So, but yeah, Pixplant is something to consider. And this one uh, creates a quite nice pattern. And once again, you get some uh, shadow and ghosting around that area and we can tweak that in this case though um, 
it's much less of an effect than we had earlier. So what I'm going to do is going to, well, might as well just create a new layer here and use black. And as you can see, in some of these areas, it's completely black, like here. Um, and it's much less so here. So we're going going to do that. We're going to kind of like cheat. But yeah, um, this can take some time, but it you know it's worth it if you're having a close up. Again, if it's not a close up, forget about it. Don't do this stuff. But I just wanted to show you how to go about it if you want detail. Again, careful in the seam. Right, so uh, I think you get the idea if I turn on off this effect now. You can see how that looks better. And that wraps up this video.